Realme is known for offering the latest tech at more affordable prices, and the company's back at it again with the newest member of the 8 series, the Realme 8i. Debuting as the company's first device with a Helio G96 processor, it now offers a 120Hz screen that we often see on high-end devices. But is that enough? That's what we're here to find out. Hey guys, it's Vika, you're with The Modern Creatures, and welcome to another video. We know you're here to find out more about the Realme 8i, so we're not going to keep you any longer. Let's get on with the review. The Realme 8i sports a more elevated, though familiar, design. We have a gradient glossy finish which, for this space black color, exudes a subdued kind of charm. But if you need a little more flash in your life, you may want to opt for the stellar purple. Realme says they integrated a flowing concept which you can clearly see with the way the reflections on the back play with light. But let's be honest, the glossy gradient design really isn't something new. Still, if you're not looking for a groundbreaking design, it's still a pretty good looking phone. But keep a cleaning cloth on hand because this phone loves fingerprints. It does come with a clear case in the box to make things easier. Cameras are housed in a rounded rectangle frame. These don't stick out much from the back and can easily lay flat on a table. The Realme 8 Ice build is made up of a plastic back and frame with a glass front. Don't be fooled by this setup though as the Realme 8i only has three cameras. We'll talk more about that later on. Edges are rounded which make for a secure grip but I did find it wide which made one-handed use a bit difficult. This may not be a problem for everyone though. On the left, we have the volume buttons and the three card slot while on the right, we have a really fast side-mounted fingerprint sensor. Down below is a 3.5mm headphone jack, single speaker, and USB-C charging port. This time around, the Realme 8i gets a larger 6.6-inch IPS panel and with its upgraded chipset, it's also able to offer a fast 120Hz refresh rate. Quite a luxury in this price segment if you ask me and the only member of the Realme 8 series to actually have it. The refresh rate is also adaptive, meaning it can intelligently switch from higher to lower depending on your needs. This helps to save battery and provide the best viewing experience possible without having to tinker with the settings. On auto, 120Hz is active when navigating through the phone's UI and drops when watching videos or playing games. Colors are rich and blacks are deep which make for an enjoyable viewing experience. You also get accurate colors because of the 8 eyes one. 100% TCI P3 color gamut. There's a punch hole notch for the selfie camera on the upper left and bezels are relatively thin with a 90% screen to body ratio. The combination of these technologies make the display ideal for watching and with support for Widevine L1, you can stream up to full HD on Netflix as well. One of the downsides here is that the speaker isn't too loud and offers just decent audio quality. Remedy this by plugging in headphones or connecting wireless earbuds. The display does pretty well under sunlight but you may sometimes need to find shade to see things more clearly. I am pleasantly surprised though at how low the brightness can go. This makes it really great to use even in low light situations. So for example, you wake up in the middle of the night and you want to check your phone. You won't be blinded by a very bright screen. With the 8i, Realme debuts its first Helio G96 powered device. It comes in two configurations with hours having 4GB of RAM and 64GB of internal storage. This isn't a lot. Luckily, the device supports expansion via micro SD card. Users in need of more power can opt for the 6GB RAM variant that's partnered with 128GB of internal storage. The higher model also offers 5GB of virtual RAM. What this means is that the phone is is able to borrow memory from the storage in times when the phone needs more processing power. Unfortunately, our model doesn't have this feature so we weren't able to explore it. But if it's anything like the Realme GT Master Edition that Kevin reviewed, you're in good hands. Moving on. Day-to-day -day tasks are easy peasy for this phone even with multiple tabs and apps open. Booting the phone was also fast and performance was consistent all throughout my time with this device. Needless to say, the base model is capable to do all the usual tasks, be it social media, photo editing, anything like that. But what about gaming? 
Being the solid all-rounder that it is, it's able to play the usual favorites like Mobile Legends without a hitch. I didn't experience lags or frame drops and was able to maintain a steady 60 FPS through matches. When playing in performance mode though, there is a bit of heat after about an hour. It isn't uncomfortable though and you can easily play for extended periods. Testing it out on more demanding games like Genshin Impact, the phone defaults to the lowest graphics settings. It's able to maintain stable performance this way, but push it further and the game starts to lag. This isn't unexpected because 1. Genshin Impact is a very heavy game and 2. This isn't a dedicated gaming phone. Stick to less graphics and power intensive apps however and you won't find yourself complaining. Wrapping up the performance section of this review, what you need to know is that this device is sort of a jack of all trades. It's able to perform above average on a number of everyday tasks and can even keep up with casual gaming, but dump heavy and intensive tasks and it starts to struggle. But this is expected considering its segment and price point. As mentioned earlier, while the Realme 8i looks like it's sporting a quad camera setup, it's actually equipped with a triple camera system headlined by a 50 megapixel main shooter. It's accompanied by a 2 megapixel macro and a 2 megapixel black and white portrait lens. Having three cameras isn't bad at all, especially since the Realme 8i does really well in the imaging department. Photos taken in daylight and even overcast conditions showed clear details and pretty good dynamic range. It could capture scenes with a pleasant balance of shadows and highlights and well-saturated mid-tones. You do get detail lost most evident when you zoom in, but it doesn't take away from the overall image. Nighttime shots are also impressive when using the phone's night mode. Around the front, the 16 megapixel camera is more than enough for selfies and video calls. There's AI beautification as well that does a good job at enhancing features without making photos look too processed. There's nothing extra special about these cameras, but they're pretty amazing given the phone's price point. My only gripe? No ultra wide. But that's a personal preference and you can really get by without it. Bottom line, these cameras are versatile and should satisfy the needs of most casual users. Slowly but surely, more and more phones are getting extended battery life. And the Realme 8i is no exception. Equipped with a 5000 mAh high capacity battery, this device is designed to last long. With a bunch of optimizations and power saving tech in place, the 8i was able to last more than a day with a moderate workload. The adaptive refresh rate was able to help preserve battery life so you can still enjoy the 120Hz screen without worrying. Playing on high performance on the other hand draws more power, as expected, and dwindles down the battery life to a couple of hours. For topping up, the Realme 8i supports 18 watt fast charging. Similar to the 7i though, charging to full takes about 2 hours. In our reviews, the Modern Creatures aims to find special features in a device that make it worth having. It's creature feature. And for the Realme 8i, it would have to be its 120Hz screen. As I've mentioned in previous reviews, a high refresh rate is definitely not needed. But it's something that makes you feel like your phone is just a little bit more special. Being adaptive as well, you won't have to worry about it draining your battery too quickly, which is always a welcome reassurance. And the fact that Realme gives you a display with a very high refresh rate at an affordable price is a very big plus. The Realme 8i provides solid performance across a series of tasks and can do it reliably and consistently. Just what you need for an everyday all-rounder. It equips you with a good set of cameras, very dependable mid-range processor, elegant design, and tops it off with an impressive 120Hz display. And starting at just 9,990 pesos, the Realme 8i is well worth considering if you're looking for something affordable with a little extra oomph in features. And that's all we have for our review of the Realme 8i. I'm personally really happy that more advanced tech is coming to affordable phones so everyone can get a chance to try it, don't you think? Quick reminder before we go, if you haven't yet, please do subscribe to the channel, visit our website and our other social media pages for more news, features, and reviews. Once again, I'm Vika. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.